Hey, what's up, everybody? 72 Fins 1 bringing you Rush 2 Extreme Racing USA Pole Position number 21. Um, so yeah. This, today's combo is going to be a little bit different from, oh, let's say, just a familiar element of this series. So, one race. File my memory card here. And today, for first time, and in pole position, we're going to be doing half pipe. Um, it, it's just first time it's been done. It's kind of a, it's not that hard of a track. It's not that easy of a track. It's, but when you put the torment conditions on, uh, backwards on, mirror on, fog to the max, and wind to the max. And by the way, this just comes from Mark and Boris, of course. I mean. Where else would the torment conditions come from? But it's a lot easier with the fog off. Need to say, but yeah, it's still a it's still a fun track to do. I mean, so anyways, today's vehicle is going to be not the rocket. Amazingly, I I asked Mark. I said why, and he's like, well, I figured it'd be just as bad if I if you use the rocket. That the Mountain Dew would probably be equally as bad, so I guess we're gonna find out if how well the dragster really Mountain Dew dragster really does on this track. So, um, yeah, um, acceleration, top speed, and control are all excellent on this thing, and not very much drifting. So awesome. Uh, transmission is automatic. You can't change the main accent colors. There's no stripe. So, um, you can change the rims, harness truck, engine is V10, torque is high, suspension is loose, tires are S2, D0, and durability is, as always, on its lowest setting. So, enough of me talking, let's get started. Now, the thing about it is, with fog, it makes this track dark. So, pretty much, the best thing is just to kind of maybe follow the mini map which helps with the Mountain Dew car here. So let's see, I'm in third place. And I get bumped. Oh boy, how did I survive that? Um and yeah, the rectangles on the top, well what it look like rectangles are pretty much the top of the pipe. So yeah, if you're hitting those you know you're sideways a little too much. I guess you'd say maybe. Oh. Gosh darn it, dude. Really? Just had to bump me there. Okay, abort time. So, let's see. Okay, let's see now. Come on. Well, see, I can't even describe what turns I'm doing here because this track is so stinking dark. Ah! Abort. Abort. But anyways, we are about halfway through a lap here, so... What I can do. Left turn. Left. Let's see. Oh boy. I'm not gonna make it to another checkpoint. Not gonna happen, I think. Oh man. That was terrible. So. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better. I mean, honestly, my practice runs went better, but. I don't know what happened there, but anyways, yeah, it's a lot easier with the fog off, but, so I don't know, maybe at some point I'll get a combo for the series where there's no fog, or maybe I'll just do an exhibition mode of it, but, ah, uh, probably won't do an exhibition mode of it, but you never know, it might happen, so anyways, thanks to Mark M. Boris for leaving me the combo to do, um, if you want to see a combo done your way, um, just check the video description, uh, the link in the video description below. And sometime soon, I'm going to have a, a kind of a, I don't know, kind of a, another pole position video. But anyways, I'll, that'll be explained when I upload that video. But anyways, uh, thanks to Mark M. Morse for the combo. I hope you 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.